Hey people, welcome back to another science mini lesson. We have already had many lessons on insects and fish and amphibians and reptiles. So today we're going to look at birds. I have put some videos up on Discovery Ed about birds and I believe there's a brain pop video also on birds. Take a look at it. Um, <clears throat> we are going to look at just a few characteristics of birds in this short video. And uh, then in the next video, we will get to mammals, the big ones. So here we go. A couple facts about birds. Birds are vertebrates. They have bones inside their bodies. They have a backbone. They are warm-blooded. So unlike all these reptiles and amphibians and fish who can't create their own heat, birds can create their own body heat. They're warm-blooded. Most birds are going to, well, all birds have these three things, wings, beaks, and feathers. Now, some birds have different kinds of feathers that aren't as visible, like penguins. Some don't fly. Just because they have wings doesn't mean they fly. But all birds have wings, beaks, and feathers. The biggest bird out there is the ostrich. The smallest is the hummingbird. And here's an interesting fact. Hummingbirds can also fly backwards. One of the only birds that can do that. So you've got the hummingbird, smallest and flying backwards. Uh, they lay eggs. That's how they have new, new baby birds is they lay eggs. 20% of birds, about one out of every five birds, migrates. So in the winter, they go to a warmer climate. Uh, a lot of times you don't see hummingbirds here except in the summer because in the winter they've migrated to a warmer climate. Migrate simply means to move from one place to another. So you've got some birds that migrate in the fall. Uh, something that is unique to birds is that in their wings, their bones are hollow. So like you have bones in your arms and they're solid. Their wing bones are hollow. That means there's nothing in the middle. It's kind of like a straw. That makes their bones lighter, and they're still strong, but they're easier to fly. So they have hollow bones in their wings, and their wings are shaped like airplane wings, where the front is thicker than the back. It tapers off towards the back, and that helps them to fly. It creates lift, just like in an airplane. So that lets you know a little bit about their wings. And let's see, finally, uh, here's a pretty cool one. Most birds eat now and digest later. Think about it. That bird grabs up that worm, swallows it. Body doesn't start digesting it until later on when it has time, when the bird's not flying. One of the only types of animals that can do that. So, there you are. A few little interesting facts about birds. I told you this was a short lesson. Go to Discovery Ed and look up those other videos. I've already assigned them to you. Uh, also, go to Brain Pop and just type in birds, and you will find some cool videos there about birds. Next session, mammals. That one's a big one. It may be a two or three video part one. So, get ready. Hang on tight.